In this video, I'll be upgrading my Elgato capture card from the HD60X to the new 4KX. Let's take a look. As of right now, I've been running the HD60X, which is an amazing capture card. But Elgato recently dropped the new 4KX. So we're going to hook that up. I'll run you through on how to hook up everything from a PS5 standpoint, because that's what I stream, that's what I game on. So stick with me, check out the video, walk you through it. If you're looking to pick up the new 4KX, I have an affiliate link down below in the description. Also, Elgato just released the 4K Pro, which is an internal capture card, and I have that affiliate link down below as well. So in the box, we have our 4KX. And if you take a look, they are very similar. Now, the main difference is the 4KX is true 4K capture with HDR and VRR. Also uses the 3.1 HDMI. So with the new Elgato 4KX, it captures up to 4K at 144 frames per second. VRR up to 144 frames per second, HFR up to 240 frames per second, and HDR10. Now the 4KX is compatible with PS5, Xbox One, S, and X series, along with Nintendo Switch, Stream Deck, and more. Now on the back side of the cover, it does show you and kind of walk you through on how to set it up. But here will show you an actual visual on how to set this up and capture your gameplay in OBS. Now the package contains your safety information along with your capture card with your 2.1 HDMI and your USB 3.2 Type-C. Now this was what connects to your PC so you can capture what you're looking at as far as your PS5 onto your OBS. So come with me, let's hook it up and I'll show you how to capture your gameplay. Now, once you have everything hooked up, which is your capture card from your USB-C to the USB-C on your motherboard, you're gonna connect your HDMI cable from your console to the in port of the capture card. Next, you're gonna connect an HDMI cable from the out port to the back of your main monitor. Then you're going to go to algato.com slash downloads and download the software, which we're going to do right now. So what we're going to do here is go to algato.com forward slash downloads. And from here, you're going to go down to the 4K capture utility. You're going to download here. And download, I already have it installed. So run through those steps there. Then you're gonna open it up here, Elgato 4K Capture Utility. Once you open up your Elgato 4K Capture Utility, you're gonna go to the gear cog on the top right hand corner. Go to Devices and select Elgato 4KX. Apply. It's going to read it, take a minute, and there we have it. You have your game capture. And there we go. You have your game capture. And since I do have the cam link, it did freeze my camera in the process because it read it as I'm also trying to use it in OBS. So you cannot do it two different places. So that's why I did freeze. But I did capture my gameplay here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to implement it here in OBS. Now, one thing to note when you're on PS5, I did notice that you're gonna have to uh, switch your HDMI color range to bypass, and then your input EDID mode to display, and then your EDID internal to default. Now, if this is your first time capturing your gameplay, what you're gonna do in your PS5, you're gonna go to your settings, down to system, down to HDMI and make sure this HDCP is disabled. Once you do that, you're gonna have your a gameplay pop up 
Um, I know that if you have it enabled, then you are not be able to see your gameplay. And now, if this is not your first time, all you have to do, you're just swapping out your capture card. You should be set. Also, make sure you go down to screen and video and go to your video output and change your resolution to your 1440 so you can capture in the highest resolution. So when I added a new source and scene, I forgot to add my audio. So here's a dub over. So what we're going to do here is you're going to go to capture device and add a new capture. I already have the video capture, but we're going to call this one the 4KX. Click OK. Then in the devices, you're going to click it and go down to Elgato 4KX. Click that there and push OK. Now here, your game capture is going to be above everything. So in OBS, you're going to have to arrange your scenes to make sure that your gameplay is below your video there. And there you go. Now we have it. Now you're ready to stream in high resolution capture in 4K. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, catch on the flip side.